can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given the square, let's draw some segment like this. And let's color this triangle as green. Now, this segment measures 1, this part measures 5, this part is 2, this part is 4, this part is 3, this part is 3, this part is 2, and this part is 4. Now, the question is, what is the area of the shaded region? Now, pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. And here's the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right. So to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to focus on this segment. Now this segment, this segment divides the area of this square into two equal parts. Now why is that? Because this square cuts into two trapezoid with a base of two and four and with the same height of six. So it means we have, we divide the square into two equal parts. All right. So we know the area of this square is 36 because 3 plus 3 is 6. So the side is 6. 6 squared is 36. So the area of this half is 18. All right. So we will use that fact later on. Now from here, let's connect those two points like this and like this. And let's call this area B equal to A and B. Now instead of solving this, geometrically we will use algebra so we will combine geometry and algebra all right so what we're going to do now is to find out the area of this triangle and how to find the area of the triangle because we will use the formula the area equals one half times base times height now the base is three the height is four so the area of this triangle is six square units now how about the area of this right triangle the base of 2 the height is 3 so the area is 3 square units next we know the area of this trapezoid is 18 we now have 6 3 we have a total of 9 therefore this triangle this y triangle must be equal to 9 minus a so if we add all of this area we cancel out a and we end up with 18 which is half the area of this square Next, we'll do the same thing on the other half of the square. So let's have the area of this right triangle at the bottom part. So this is 2 square centimeters. This is 2 times 5 divided by 2 or simply 5 square centimeters. We have 5 and 2, a total of 7, and we know the total of this area is 18 square units. So this area, this white triangle, is just 11 minus B square units. Now, from here, we need to create an equation that contains A and B. So to do that, we will use the area of this trapezoid on the bottom part, on the upper part rather. Now how to find the area of a trapezoid? So we need the base, we add the base times the height and divide it by 2. So the area of this trapezoid in the upper part is just 3 times 5, which is the basis times the height which is 4 plus 2 and divided by 2. Now 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48 divided by 2. We, this will give us 24. So the area of this trapezoid is 24. But another way to rewrite the area of this trapezoid is by adding those areas. So another way to rewrite the area of the trapezoid is this part. We have 5 plus b plus 9 minus a plus 6. Now, if we simplify this, 5 plus 9 plus 6, this will give us 20. And we know the area of the trapezoid is 24. Now, subtract 20 on both sides, so we get an equation that contains a and b as b minus a equals 4. So this is the equation that we get using the area of the trapezoid. Now, if we use the area of the trapezoid in the bottom part, we get the same equation b minus a equals 4. You can do that. But we want another equation or another relationship between a and b. And to do that, we will use this concept. If we have a quadrilateral and if we connect those diagonals, we create four triangles and 
that represents their areas as S1, S sub 2, S sub 3, and S sub 4. So the relationship of those area must be equal to S sub 1 times S sub 3. If we multiply those area, it must be equal to the product of S sub 2 and S sub 4. So we will use this concept to create another equation that contains A and B. So if we do that, we get 9 minus A times 11 minus B equals A times B. Now, if we simplify this, if we simplify the left-hand side of our equation, we get 99 minus 9B minus 11A plus AB equals AB. So, subtract AB on both sides, we get 0. So, we have 99 minus 9B minus 11A equals 0. Rearrange some terms a little bit. We have 9B plus 11A equals 99. Now, we have found another equation that contains A and B. So using these two equations, we can now solve for the value of A and B. Now, let's focus first in these two results. So to solve for the value of A and B, what we're going to do is to multiply the second equation by 11. So 11B minus 11A equals 44. Now copy the first equation and take note when we add these two equations, we eliminate the variable A. So if we do that, we get... 20B equals 143. Divide both sides by 20, we get that the area of B is 143 over 20. We found B, and if we use this equation to solve for the value of A, we get that the value of A, or the area of A region, is 63 over 20. Now, going back to our figure, the goal in this question is to find the shaded region, or the sum of A and B. So if we add A and B, we get 63 plus 143 over 20. And if we add the numerator, we have 206 over 20. Lowest term, divide both sides by 2, we have 103 over 10. And this is the answer. This is the area of the shaded region. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of the shaded region is 103 over 10 square units. And as always, we are done.